Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Welcome, everybody. Let me move this a little bit. Okay, that's better. Okay, um, let's begin. I'm going to um, call attendance. So when you hear your name, please let me know. Okay, here we go. Um, ah, but first I'm going to share the screen with you. There it is. Okay, everybody, take a look. What are we going to do? Um, listen, and when you hear your name, please uh, let me know you're here. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Está intentando conectarse, compañero. Okay, thank you. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome, Arles. Give me a moment, please. What's going on? Give me a moment. Hey. No está agarrando. Uy. Um, parece que tengo un, una pequeña dificultad técnica porque no me reconoce. No. <laughs> Permítanme. This is very strange. Uh, voy a recargar aquí la página mejor. Just a moment. I don't know. Let me check if this is working. Yeah, it's working. Hmm. Bueno, parece que tengo una pequeña dificultad con la página donde se registra la asistencia, así que voy a tomar sus nombres por separado. Ok, tenemos a... Um, Adán Iglesia, estoy esperando todavía. Arles Ernesto. Okay. Presente. Indica que acá está. Thank you. Uh, Baudilio Lenilson. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Okay, thank you. Baudilio Rivera. Okay. Uh, Ana, disculpar si me tardo un poco más de lo usual, pero... Hay un problema aquí con la asistencia y no me agarra ningún. No toma nada. Así que lo estoy anotando aparte. Carlos Ernesto Santo Reyes. Carlos Alberto. Alberto, Alberto. Oh, sorry, Carlos Alberto Santos. Ok, thank present, you. Teacher. Carlos, welcome. Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Perdón. Ok. David Antonio Rosales García. David, teacher. Presente. Welcome, welcome, David. Edith Consuelo Represa. Edith Consuelo Represa. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez. Ok. Enrique Pérez no está por acá, me parece haberlo visto. Enrique Pérez, no. Erika Beatriz Guillén. Erika Beatriz Guillén. Ever Enrique Gallegos. Present teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alvallero. 
Present teacher. Welcome ever. Thank Frank you. Okay, Franklin de la O, Ayala. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilca Reyes. José Amilca Reyes. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Que no está ningún José. José Valentín Rivera. José Valentín Rivera. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, presente, teacher, presente. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Juan Francisco Arrazábal. Juan Francisco Arrazábal. Karen Yulisa Vázquez. Good evening, teacher. Present. Welcome. Uh, Maria de Lourdes Miroslava. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Okay, thank you. Just a moment. Okay, thank you. Um, Maria Magdalena. Cerillos. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Mauro Orlando Vasquez. Teacher. Welcome, Mauro. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present teacher. Welcome, Oscar. Salvador Manrique Hernández. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Aquí. Teacher, aquí está, pero tiene problemas con el micrófono del cel. Está silenciado el micrófono, dice ahí. Mm -hmm. Pero no me aparece en la lista. Es decir, no aparece como conectado. Eh, estoy conectado, pero no, no tengo imagen tampoco. Me voy a salir y me voy a volver a meter. Tal vez funcione ahí. Ok, ok. Sí, porque no me, no me aparece en la lista. Ok, vamos con uh, Santos Mauricio Arias. I am here, present teacher. Good evening. Welcome, good evening. Uh, Saúl Ernesto Martínez. Present teacher. Welcome. Wilber Rafael Rivas. Good evening, teacher. Ok, welcome. All right. Adán Iglesias dice presente también. Aquí le vamos a tomar asistencia. Ok, voy a llamar a algunos otros. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. A ver, ahí aparece conectado. Cecia Gemima Ortiz. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Guillén. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Let's see. Franklin de la O Ayala. Franklin de la O, Ebert Aristides Oya, Ebert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Ahí me aparece conectado. Ok. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Permítanme. No, no agarra nada. Ok. Uh, José Amilcar Reyes. 
José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera. Juan Francisco Arrasaba al Calderón. Ever, por ahí me levanta la mano. Ya le tomé su asistencia. Bienvenido. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Sigo teniendo problemas ahí, teacher. Este, estoy conectado, pero no, no tengo imagen y sonido Ajá. tampoco. Sí, es que la cuestión es que aquí aparece una lista de participantes de Zoom. Por ejemplo, pero... ahorita en la, en, en la imagen... Yo me veo ahí, que estoy con los demás, ¿verdad? en el cuadro ahí, pero no, 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 no me veo usted o no parezco ahí registrado. Pues, déjeme ver. Aquí busco su nombre. Parece Wilber, Enrique, Adán, Arles, Paudilio, Carlos, Carlos, David, Ever, Enrique, Ever, Francis, Ever, Juan Carlos, Karen Julisa, María Lourdes, María Magdalena, Mauro, Oscar Susana, Santos, Mauricio, Saúl, Ernesto. No aparece en la lista. Es decir, aparece como que no aparece conectado. Eso es lo único. Pero bueno, vamos bueno, entonces... a poner acá, un, voy a poner una nota para notificar. Cualquier cosa también pueden notificar directamente a los administradores del grupo, porque ahí, para que ellos también puedan constatar. Igual, yo voy a agregar acá una nota. Eh, no sé. Eh, para, no sé. digamos, eh, poder corroborar un poco, ¿verdad? Que usted estaba eh, presente, solo que ha tenido algunos problemas de conexión. Permítame. Ok, bueno, permítame que voy a reportar esto acá también. Lamento el atraso, pero la lista no está dando inconvenientes. Aquí lo vamos a notificar en WhatsApp. Yo comida no quiero. Permítanme un instante. Teacher, me escucha ahora. Hoy sí, mire, hoy sí aparece. En un Perfecto. link que enviaron hoy por último, ahí me metí y no, este, y no salió. Tenía ese problema, me metí en otro que estaba anteriormente en la misma página y uh -huh. ahí sí, me funcionó. Ok, perfecto. Ok, excelente. Bienvenido. Hoy sí ya me aparece con todas las de la ley, le puedo poner presente. Bueno, ok. Teacher. Eh, dígame. Estoy presente también y me pasó lo mismo. Yo me metí en el link que tiraron el día de hoy y ahí habían como cinco conectados. Lo más, todos regresé al link anterior para ah, poderme conectar. Ah, bueno, va. Entonces todos ¿verdad? quedémonos con el link de siempre, ¿verdad? <ríe> Enrique Pérez ya está conectado. ¿Será que los otros están por ahí también? No sé. Yeah, si les yeah, pueden avisar, yeah, por yeah, favor, yeah. porque los, los tres, José, no están, no me contesta Iván tampoco, Edith Consuelo, ni Cecia, Cecia por lo general hasta ahora ya está conectada, así que ahí pasa algo, así que... La gente, la gente creo que iba a conectar allá. Ok, perfecto. Wilber, dígame. Sí, Cecia y el señor Gavidia están en el otro link, ahí donde estaba Manrique. Ah, vaya. Eh, ¿Será que les pueden avisar, por favor, que, que se conecten al, al enlace de siempre? Por favor, nada más para que ahí nos, nos acompañen. Ok, solo permítame que les estoy notificando acá a los encargados. Esta de asistencia, aquí está, permítame. Ok. Bueno, igual, ya tomé su asistencia aparte en un archivo que acabo de hacer. Cecia ya está por acá. Bienvenida. Ok. Alguien más. Veo a José Amilcar. Me 
conectado sí, también. Sí, pero... Dígame. El link está incorrecto. Que lo sí, así, así, así me están comentando. Voy a poner eso también acá. Eh, ahorita lo estoy eh, comunicando a los encargados. Que nos cuenten 15 minutos de clase. <risa> que me conecté temprano. Sí, es cierto, ahí hay un problemita. Ok, bueno, igual eh, quiero ver quién más me parece por acá. José Amilcar, Edith Consuelo, ya está por acá. Ok, tomamos su asistencia. ¿Alguien más que no haya escuchado su nombre? José Benjamín. Presente, teacher, nos mandaron un, un link, Chabela. Así <risa> me cuentan que algo, hubo sí. un problema técnico ahí, ¿verdad? Okay. Bueno, bueno, Adán, pero aquí estamos ya. Adán Iglesias Presente, tiene la manita teacher, levantada. Presente, Edith Toledo. Ya le tomamos su asistencia, Edith, muchas gracias. Quiero ver, por okay. si a, alguien más, quiero ver, Erika Guillén, ¿está por acá? Erika, Erika Beatriz Guillén. ¿Estará Franklin de la O Ayala? Franklin de la O. Eh, Iván Rodríguez Iván eh, José Valentín José Valentín Rivera Juan Francisco Arrozábal Todavía no Ok, bueno, tomaremos asistencia entonces nuevamente al finalizar de nuevo la disculpa del caso En el otro grupo están Arrozábal el, el otro grupo están ahorita sí. aparentemente Yo voy a intentar okay. llamarle ahorita Ok Muchas gracias, le agradezco ahí su, su uh, bueno, igual les podemos poner aquí, ¿verdad? Sí. Bueno, aquí Pero ya están avisando. Ustedes, Arrozaba, ¿no? con un link. Ok, ok, perfecto. Juan Francisco Arrozábal, bienvenido. Ok. Ya me tomó. Ya está la, asist la asistencia, Juan Francisco Arrozábal, ya se la, ya la tomamos. Ok. Everybody, welcome. This gracias. is English uh, Pre-Intermedio, Módulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session number three, okay, and today is July the 26th of 2023. So, let's do this. So, uh, today we start uh, section number two, or unit two. And uh, we have the first part, just a conversation. Where are you from? So how do you spend your day? Take a good look at this. This is the snapshot. How do you spend your day? Um, this is, according to okay, the book, the six worst jobs in the United States. Okay? The six uh, worst jobs in the United States. All right. Creo voy a probar la lista de asistencia nuevamente. Quiero ver que funcione. Permítanme. Vamos a entrar por este otro enlace. Solamente les pido un poquito de paciencia. Queremos arreglar esto ya y que no nos vaya a causar problemas más adelante. Ok, vamos. Voy a hacer una nueva prueba. No. Ok, permítanme. Bueno, the six worst jobs in the United States based on salary, stress, number of hours, working conditions, and security. Okay, los peores seis trabajos de Estados Unidos, de acuerdo a lo que aparece en el material, basado en salario, estrés, número de horas trabajadas, condiciones laborales y seguridad. So the first one is fisherman. Okay, this is extremely dangerous. Gives good money. Okay, great salary. Great payment, but extremely dangerous. Okay, there, there is an I, I believe in Discovery Channel. There's a show, okay, about this. Uh, taxi driver, according to this, also okay. That's another job. That's one of the worst in the United States. Cowboy. Okay, who knows? Cowboy. Construction worker. Construction worker. Well paid. 
but it's very dangerous. Dancer, apparently, okay? And the worst of all is lumberjack. What's a lumberjack? Leñador, okay? This is a very hard, you know, job and, uh, and it's also very dangerous. So you have the vocabulary, right? Again, there's fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, dancer, and lumberjack. Okay, so you have this, uh, just some vocabulary. We're going to move, we're going to move here. So word power, let's take a look at this. Give me a moment. Okay, there's the word power. Complete the word map with words from the job. So what are you going to do right here? This is just some vocabulary, a vocabulary exercise. So um, you have cashier, chef, company director, dancer, flight attendant, musician, pilot, receptionist, server, singer, yeah, tour fun. guide, and website designer. <clears throat> so what is that? I want you to classify the jobs in the correct category. There's office work, travel industry, food service, and entertainment business. For example, in uh, office work, we have company director, okay? In travel industry, you have the flight attendant. Food service, server, the, wait, the waiter. And in the entertainment business, there's a dancer. So what other people can you classify or what other jobs can you classify in office work? If you want to participate, please raise your hand. Ever Enrique. Office work, cashier. Cashier. Okay. Cashier. Probably not. Cashier is in a different category. But but thank you. Um Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto? Your microphone. I'm sorry? Uh, Carlos? Uh, Santos Mauricio? Of his word, receptionist. Receptionist. Okay, there's receptionist. Okay, good. What else, Santos Mauricio? What else can you tell us about office work? Or anyone? You can participate. Cecia? Website designer. There's website designer also. Okay, correct. Okay, website designer. Any other jobs in this category? Website designer. What else? Mm -hmm. Santo Mauricio, Cecia, what else do you have? Um... No, no more. No more. Okay. All right. Uh, Maria Magdalena. Pilot. Pilot. Mm, but that's office work. So probably not. No, it's travel industry. That's travel industry. That is correct. Okay. So what other dice, jobs? Mm -hmm. eh, dice el, el señor este, que está aquí atrás. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so what other jobs go in this category? Office work. So, Cecia. Sorry, uh, un CEO, un, un gerente general. A CEO, yeah, that's correct, but uh, you have to choose from the list. Hay que elegir de la lista que está acá, ¿verdad? Aquí están ya todos. Pero sí, CEO sería como el company director también, ¿verdad? Tenemos receptionist. Madre, office work, tour guide, musician. 
No, uh, teacher, ya no hay más. No more. Okay, all right. So that's that's correct. Okay, um, now you told me um, uh, CEO, that could be one. Okay, um, any other jobs that probably are not from the list? Otros trabajos que no estén en la lista? Uh huh. Baudilio? Secretary. Secretary, that could be one. Okay, there's secretary. That's possible. Also, sales manager. And uh, Cecia said, the CEO. Okay, yeah, all that is office work. What about travel industry? Okay, you, you can classify the words. Flight attendant is one. What else? Raise your hand if you want to participate. Um, Maria Magdalena. Pilot, teacher. Pilot, yeah, there's pilot. Okay, and uh, what's the other one? What's the other one? Santo Mauricio, do you want to participate? Travel industry, tour guide. Tour guide, okay, there's a tour guide. Okay, very good, very good, tour guide. Any other that is not in the list? Algún otro que no está en la lista y que pueda estar en esta categoría? Ingenier. Okay, in this category, we also have, for example, travel agent. That's one travel agent and uh, hotel manager. Okay, all of these apply. What about the food service? Food service. Franklin de la O dice que ya está presente. Franklin de la O Ayala. Okay, tomamos su asistencia. Okay, um, let's see, Santos Mauricio, and then Ever Tarisides. Santos Mauricio. Chef. Chef. Sorry, uh, Santos Mauricio, you have food service? Chef. Chef, service, okay. Chef. There is Jeff, okay, and there's another one. También hay otro. There's another one. Evert, maybe you can help us. Cashier. Cashier, okay, you told me cashier oh. and chef, okay. Cashier and chef. Okay. All right. Um, some other people who work in the food service are dishwasher, okay, and the waiter, okay, which is similar to the server. And what about the entertainment business? Cecia. Singer. Singer. Okay, there's the singer. All right. Okay, that's correct. And uh, what Thank else? You. What else? Musician. Musician. Okay, there's a musician and the singer, right? Okay, yeah, that's correct. Musician, singer. Some other people in this category could be actor and actress. Okay, that's another one. And DJ, okay. Okay, yeah. so uh, that's it. Uh, we're going to move on. Okay, this is uh, uh, some vocabulary for us. Okay, from office work, there's a company director, receptionist, website designer, secretary, sales manager. The travel industry, there's a flight attendant, pilot, tour guide, travel agent, hotel manager, food service, the server, cashier, chef, dishwasher, waiter, Entertainment business, there's the dancer, musician, singer, actor, or actress, and DJ. Okay, so um, what are we going to do? Take a look at this. Uh, speaking, work and workplaces. Give me a second. So what is here? Look at the pictures, match the information in columns A, B, and C. So you have a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. Okay. So that's one, okay. Uh, 
You say she is a salesperson. Okay, she sells clothes. She works in a department store. Because this exercise is probably going to take us a bit long, so we're going to skip it for now. Lesson objective. Take a look. This is 2.0. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación acerca de trabajos usando pronombres y adverbios interrogativos. There's the conversation. Where do you work? Okay, gotta listen and practice. Okay, take a look. Where do you work? So I'm going to play the track. I want you to listen and practice the conversation. Where do you work, Andrea? Can you hear that? Yes, okay, great. Where do you yes, work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. <laughs> okay. So... Page um, nine. Exercise four. All right. So, uh, listen and practice. I need two volunteers to help me read the conversation. One to play Jason and one to play Andrea. Okay, Baudilio and Cecia, please. Okay, Baudilio, you're Jason, and Cecia, you're Andrea. Okay, where do you, do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do? Do three. Do three. What do you do there? What do you do there? I'm not kind. I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yes, it is a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, yeah. So the conversation goes like this. Jason says, where do you work, Andrea? And Andrea says, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. This is the thing. Thomas Cook Travel. And Jason says, oh, really? What do you do there? Okay. Andrea says, I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. You can see it here. She's taking them to the Machu Picchu. Jason says, how interesting. Andrea says, yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? Jason says, I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Andrea says, oh, where do you work? Jason says, in a fast food restaurant. Andrea says, which restaurant? And Jason says, hamburger heaven. Okay, this is hamburger heaven. El cielo de las hamburguesas. So, uh, Cecia, do you have a question? No, teacher. Solo que se me está descargando la compu, ando buscando el cargado. Ah, bueno. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, permítanme. Vaya, ya funciona la lista. Okay, perfecto. Okay, permítame, solo voy a eh, pasar ya la asistencia, no voy a hacer que aprovechando que funcione correctamente, así que aquí voy. Yo, permítanme, voy a. Y está la lista. Tenemos a Adán Iglesias, acá está. Arles, acá está también. Paudilio, aquí está también. Carlos Santos, aquí está también. Tenemos a Carlos Cruz, también está acá. Cecia está acá. Eh, David Rosales, también está por acá. 
Edith Consuelo también ya se presentó. Enrique Pérez también ya está. Hago el llamado en este momento a Erika Beatriz Guillén. Erika Beatriz. Good teacher, good evening. Ah, good evening. Welcome. Okay, great. Okay, vamos a poner acá su participación. Erika Beatriz. Tenemos también a Ever Enrique, también ya está por acá, ya se presentó. Eh, Ever Alvallero, también. Tenemos a Franklin de la O, bien. Ebert Oya, también está por acá. Llamo acá a Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio, ¿está por acá? Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio, todavía no. Ok. José Amilca Reyes, ya está por acá. José Benjamín Gavidia, también ya está por acá. Hago el llamado a Juan, José, perdón, José Valentín Rivera. José Valentín Rivera. ¿Es José Valentín here? Ok. Um, tenemos Juan Carlos Portillo, está por acá. Juan Francisco Arrazábal, también. Karen Yulisa, ¿quién está? María de Lourdes, también está. María Magdalena, también está. Mauro Orlando, está. Mónica Yvette. Llamo por acá a Mónica Yvette. Presente, teacher. Ok, thank you, Mónica. Ok. Ok, vamos a poner acá. Ok, perfecto, thank you. Oscar Susana Castellano también está por acá. Salvador Hernández también está por acá. Santos Arias también. Saúl Ernesto y Wilber también están. Ok, vale, perfecto, ya está. Ya funciona con normalidad el archivo de asistencia, así que ya no nos preocupamos por eso. Ok, before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in the conversation? Baudilio, do you have a question? Baudilio, uh, the microphone. I have a question, teacher. Yes. Hamburgiving is hamburguesa del cielo. Más bien el cielo de hamburguesas. El cielo Hamburg de hamburguesas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Hamburger um, heaven. Porque conocemos por sky, cielo. Ah. Okay. Um, the difference is, the sky is what you see. Okay, when you look up and you see the clouds and you see it blue. Okay, and you see the sun and the moon and the stars. That's the sky. The heaven is where God is, the angels, okay, okay. and the good people. <laughs> when they die, Thanks. they go to heaven. Okay, that's the difference. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that's the difference. Any other question? Ever Enrique. I had a question. How yes. interesting. How interesting. Que interesante. Es más como que, que interesante. Es que interesante. Eh, uh -huh. Hay que ver acá una pequeña diferencia que tenemos que anotar es que mientras que en español decimos, por ejemplo, qué interesante, en inglés no vamos a decir what, sino más bien how. ¿Mm? How interest, interesting. También puede decir usted how small. You can say how, uh, how, oh, chivo. how cute, okay, how etc, etc. So you can say that. Mientras que en español ocupamos que, en inglés no vaya a ocupar what, sino que se utiliza how, cuando usted quiere decir algo así como qué bonito, qué interesante, qué grande, qué, qué feo, ok, que, etc, etc. So how interesting, how small, how cute, ok, etc, etc. So when, they, when Jason says how interesting, it's like qué interesante. Any other questions about the vocabulary? No more questions? We continue then. Okay, so by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use the simple present. Al final de la clase, los participantes serán capaces de entender y usar el present simple. So, uh, sorry about that. It's not supposed to be there. Huh. Just a moment. Okay, nada nuevo. Okay, ya hemos visto esto con anterioridad. Present simple affirmative form. Okay, so... 
they read, he likes, I work, etc. That's the present simple tense. We have studied this before. Remember that when you use I, we, you, or they, you have to use the verb in base form. Read, like, work, live, watch, do, have, etc. When the subject is he, she, or it, the verb changes and you have to add an S, ES, or you change Y for IES. In that case, you have reads, likes, works, lives, watches, does, and has. Remember, he works, she lives, it rains, etc. I work in an office. My brother works in a bank. He works in a bank. Amanda lives in Houston. She lives in Houston. Her parents live in Chicago. They live in Chicago. Lucia has two children. Remember, have. For he, she, it, you have has. John has lunch at home every day. Lucia has two children. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp. Okay, there it is. Second slide. Uh, no, no, por acá. Esto ya lo vimos en niveles anteriores. Es un repaso. Okay, present simple spelling rules. You know that normally uh, to make the third person singular form, that is he, she, it, you need to add S to most verbs. For example, work becomes works. Live becomes lives. Breathe becomes reads. Rule number two. You need to add ES to verbs ending in S, Z, X, SH, CH, or O. For example, there's the verb miss, que es extrañar o perderse algo. Okay, so miss ends in S, so you have to add ES, misses. Fix ends in X, so you have to add ES, fixes. Finish ends in SH, so you add ES, finishes. Watch ends in CH, that's why you have to add ES, watches. Do ends in O, that's why you add ES, does. Go ends in O, so you say goes. So remember, if the verb ends in S, Z, X, SH, CH, or O, then you have to add ES. And then the next rule is, if a verb ends in consonant plus Y, you have to change Y to I-E-S. Okay, that's the combination, consonant and Y. For example, the verb study, study, ends in the combination consonant D and Y. So, you change Y for I-E-S, studies. Second example, try, try. Okay, uh, ends in consonant R and Y. That's why you have to change Y for I, E, S, and you have tries. But what happens when the verb doesn't end in consonant Y? For example, you have play. Play is different because now you have vowel and Y. When that happens, don't change anything. You just need to add S. That's it. Okay, another example, stay. That's another one. It ends in vowel and Y. So don't change anything, just add S. But if you have consonant and Y, like in study, this is consonant D and then Y, then yeah, you need to change Y for I, E, S. That's the rule. It's consonant and Y. Do you have any questions about the rules? No questions? Okay, then. We continue. Um, let's do this. Okay, just a very quick exercise. Okay, very quick exercise. Write these verbs with S or ES. For example, read becomes, I'm going to give you the example, she reads. What about number two, think? What is it? Raise your hand, please. Mm -hmm. Number two, think. Baudilio? Thank you. I'm sorry? Thank you. 
thinking. Think, thinks, right? You say he thinks with an S, okay? Think, he thinks. Thank you, Baudilio. Ever Enrique, fly. Bye. It flies. Flies. How do you spell it? X L E E. Mm -mm. E. Okay. F L E E E S. Mm, not exactly. Not exactly. Okay. Maybe um uh who can help us now? Uh, Enrique Perez. Yeah. How Number do you spell three. that? Number three. Okay. Fly, diría uh, este, it flies. It flies. How do you spell it? Terminar en S. Ah, but how do you spell it? ¿Cómo se deletrea? Este, eh, it r g s. Mm, not exactly. <laughs> not exactly. Baudilio, how do you spell flies? F L E S F L E mm -mm. S mm -mm. No It's a bit different Ever Enrique X L Y S mm -mm. No Y there sorry <laughs> Who can help us? How do you spell flies? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién nos ayuda? ¿Cómo se letrea? Flies. Hmm. Karen Julisa. F L I E S. That's correct. F L I E S. Flies. Mm -hmm. Aquí se cumple la regla, fíjese. Consonante L y luego Y. Por lo tanto, cambia a I E S. F L I E S. Thank you. What about number four? Dance. What's the third person singular Dance. form? Dances, okay. No sé quién me contestó, but I, pero bueno. Okay. All right. So um, he dances. Okay. What about number five? Have. Raise your hand if you know, please. Baudilio. Haves. Haves doesn't exist. Sorry. It's not haves. What is the third person singular form of the verb have? Has. 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 Sorry. That's right. She has. Okay, good. Thank you, Valilio. Number six, finish. What about this one? Finish. How about finish? Number six. Mm -hmm. Valilio, again. Finishes. Finishes with ES, okay, at the end, finishes. Okay, what about number seven, sleep? Vamos, compañero, participemos. Sleep. Cecia. Uh, sleep, yes. <laughs> well, I'm sorry? Sleeps. Sleeps, okay, sleeps, just that. You just <laughs> add an S. Thank you. Uh, what about live? What is the third person singular for live? Karen Julissa. Live. Lives with an S. She lives. Okay. What about number nine? Cry. Baudilio, you're raising your hand. Cries. Cries. How do you spell it? C R I E. Yes. That's right. C-R-I-E-S. Cries. He cries. Very good. Thank you. And number 10. Watch. What about this one? Third person singular form. Maria Magdalena. He watches. He watches with E-S. Okay, that's correct. Watches. All right. Cool. 
this exercise right here, okay? Uh, complete the sentences, use these verbs. Boil, which is hervir, close, cost, cost, like, like, meet, open, speak, teach, and wash. So uh, the first one is the example. Maria speaks four languages. Why speaks? Because Maria is she. She speaks four languages. What about number two? Banks. Blah, blah, blah. At nine in the morning. Baudilio. Banks opens at nine in the morning. Opens or open? Opens. Why? Be careful. Um, Banks, oh, that's brutal. Okay. Uh -huh. Open. 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 Correct. Okay. Remember that when we have one bank, this is it. Two banks or more equals they. So you can say here, it opens, they open. Okay. That's the idea. So banks open at nine in the morning. Thank you, Baudilio. Number three, about the art museum. At five in the afternoon. Volunteers. No tengan, no tengan eh, vergüenza ni miedo. Okay, vamos. Enrique. Voy a pelear con la tres. Dele. The art museum closes at five in the afternoon. The art museum closes at five in the afternoon. That is correct. Thank you. What about number four? Jessica is a teacher. She, blah, 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 math to young children. Cecilia. Uh, teach. Matt, okay, so Who Jessica is a, uh -huh. Jessica is a teacher. She, sorry. She, ay, ya me lo perdí. She teaches math to teaches. young. She teaches math to young children. Okay, teaches. She teaches. Okay, good. Thank you. Number five. My job is very interesting. I blah blah blah. A lot of people. Evan Enrique. My job is very interesting. I mix a lot of people. Again, I what? I? I mix. I meet a lot of people. Okay. I meet a lot of people. Thank you. Number six. Baudilio. Food is expensive. Mike's car is... Ah, sorry. Mike's car. Good. Yeah, sorry. I skipped it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's car is always dirty. Mm -hmm. He never washes it. He never washes it. Okay, he never washes it. Thank you, uh, Baudilio. What about number seven? Food is expensive. Okay, Baudilio. Food is expensive. It costs a lot of money. Cost or cost. costs. Do you need an S in the verb? Cost. Okay. You have it costs a lot of money with an S at the end, right? Because it, it costs. He, she, it. Food is expensive. It costs a lot of money. Thank you. Uh, what about number eight? Vamos, quiero escuchar los demás. Okay. Shoes are expensive. Shoes are expensive. Karen Julissa. Wait a minute, no veo. Shoes are expensive. They cost a lot of money. They cost, they cost a lot of money. Okay, just cost. They cost a lot of money. Good. Thank you, Karen. Number nine, order. Blah, 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 at 100 degrees Celsius. Celsius, okay. Uh-huh. Celsius. 
Santos Mauricio. Santos Mauricio. Microphone. Okay. Water boil at 100 de degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, one thing is, remember, water is it. So, it. water. Water is it, boiled. Mm, not exactly. A bit different. So, hay que cambiar el verbo un poquito. Okay, so water. Mm, I don't know. Okay, let's take a look. You say water boils with an S. Mm -hmm. Remember that when the subject is he, she, or it, you have to change the verb. So, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, thank you, Santos. And the last one, number 10. Who can help me with this one? Number 10, please. Okay, well, Amy and I are good friends. I like her and she likes me. Okay, next. Grammar focus, simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? Okay, uh, the question form. So what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work in a restaurant or I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? ¿Qué le parece? How does she like it? She loves it. Okay, she loves it. And then remember this, okay? When the subject is I, you, we, or they, you use work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. When the subject is he, she, or it, you use works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Just like that. We're going to solve this. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. Acuérdense, ¿verdad? En la forma de pregunta, van a ocupar do con I, we, you, and they. Y el verbo en forma base. Cuando es he, she, or it, van a utilizar does. Y el verbo en forma base, nuevamente. So, complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. What do you do? He says, I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. And uh, what about letter A? Raise your hand, please. This is also knowledge check 2.4. Okay, so what is it? If you know, please raise your hand. Terminemos este ejercicio y terminamos clase también. Ever Enrique. And what do you do go to school? And, sorry, you say. And what do you do? What do you do go to school? Okay. What do you do? No, it's a bit different. Mm -hmm.
What do we have here? Jose Benjamin. Uh, and where do you go to, to school? And where do you go to school? Okay, where do you go to school? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, and uh, what about the next person? The next person says, I... Cecia. I go to the new New York School of Music. I go to the New York School of Music. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, what about the next one? Say, wow. Okay. Um, what is it? Baudilio. What? What? What do you like your classes? Mm, no, it's a bit different. It's a different um, question word. Where do you? Where? Mm, not where? exactly. It's a bit different. Ah. Ahí aparece en esta lista. Oh. Okay, how do you like your classes? Okay, and the last one is I. I do. I do. Mm, them a lot. It's different. You have to use a different verb. Who can help us? We we'll finish this conversation and we'll continue number two tomorrow, but we need to finish number one. Jose Benjamin. I like it a lot. I like them a lot. Okay. You can say, I like them a lot. Me gustan mucho, dice las clases. So I like them a lot. Okay. We're going to complete uh, the second one tomorrow. Okay. Because we just ran out of time, but I need to take attendance here. Uh, vamos, aquí. Ivan Alexi Rodriguez Asensio. Is Ivan Alexis here with us tonight? I don't think so. Uh, Jose Valentin Rivera Lopez. Jose Valentin Rivera. No. Okay, then. Okay, we, we stop right here. Uh, me disculpo por los inconvenientes que hubo para asistencia y también el enlace. Uh, un par de problemas técnicos ahí, pero bueno. Lo importante es que terminamos uh, por acá la clase. Acuérdense que mañana seguimos y que para este nivel vamos a estar trabajando los días viernes también para salir pronto del nivel y no nos atrasemos mucho por la semana de vacación. Así que aparten ahí los viernes, ¿verdad? no hagan planes porque tenemos clase. Lo siento. I'm sorry. Espero que okay. el viernes el cuerpo lo sabe. Lo sabe, sí, pero... But anyway, <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. See Good night, tomorrow. teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Si vemos o nos van a cambiar al teacher. No, nos vamos a participar más. Eso. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Por el que no participe de multa.